Hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome. I'm here. I'm just going to let some people um, log in. Hi, Karen, Nikki, Crystal. <clears throat> Um, how is everyone doing? Hi, another Karen. There's two Karens, three Karens on now. And they all spell it. We all spell it differently. So how's everyone doing? You guys enjoying yourselves in the live stream? Welcome, welcome, everyone. Just trying to kind of getting everybody to, <clears throat> to, to log in just so we can get started. Hi, Tiffany. A big applause to Tiffany for doing all this. Hello, hello, everyone. Okay, can okay, everybody's kind of logging in, which is nice. <clears throat> I'm excited to be on again. Hi, Nanika. Anika, oh, there's so many. Belinda, uh, Laurel, Dagny, Stefka. I just see so many people. Arlene, like, thank you, thank you, thank you. I just, I can't even keep up. Kanika, Kirsten. So there's a lot of people logging in. I'm going to wait like a couple more minutes because just everybody is just trying to kind of go get in. Um, and this is the project I'm going to be creating. I know everybody has been doing like really elaborate mixed media pieces. I find that in an hour, it's much easier to do like an art journal. I want to show you some cool products today. That's the point of it all. So just wanted to um, basically just show you what's how um, how I'm gonna be creating stuff, and I'm just uh, excited to show you. This is a six by six um, disc bound journal from Joggles. What I love about it, I always say, is that you can remove the pages, and that's just really nice. And I've already removed two pages from here. I'm going to be creating basically almost the same one. Although whenever you create stuff, it doesn't always create the same. Like it doesn't always come up exactly the same, but it will become. It will come quite close. Like it will be quite close to what I'm doing. And I just want to show you um, some really fun things that you can do. I'm going to put this one aside just for reference, hold on, and basically show you start to finish the projects to, from start to finish, basically. So <clears throat> this is my Joggles journal, sorry. Um, this is a very thick 140 pound watercolor paper. I really like it because um, it's really thick and it takes a lot of media really well. So, that's uh, that's good to think. Um, all the links to all the products I'm using today are below in the description area of this video. But if you need one, I have three mods today. I see Susan, Nuneka, and Tiffany are here, and they can probably share stuff. Um, so yeah. Uh, okay. So I really loved the new gloss sprays from Dina Wakely that came out recently, and I've been using them a lot. And I saw a really cool technique that she did and I want to show you, if for those of you who might have not seen it, this is like not my technique, but it's really fun. So as you know, at, oh, maybe you don't know, the gloss sprays, oops, and I have them in this box. I got myself a little box here. Um, the gloss sprays fit in the tin for the, um, fit in the tin for the Distress Oxide sprays. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a few and I'm going to show you a cool technique. What I love about these is that they are create a resist, a regress, a resist uh, technique. Eh, sorry, just one second. Why is this not? Oh, um, uh, Susan or Nuneka, whenever you see something, show, yeah, yeah, press the show. Some people are um, sometimes put links or something like that that are not moderators. So if you press please show link, that would be great. Please, yeah, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love that. And thank you so much. So what I love about the properties of these sprays, because they're acrylic sprays, they have like a glossy or like a plasticky feeling. So they create really cool resist techniques. And I've shown, I have a video where I showed uh, like eight ways to resist. 
uh, with did you use resist techniques with this ones? But I want to show you a really cool one that um, that a uh, Dina Wakely showed in one of the demos. Hold on, I'm gonna show you. So I just all she did is she took some tissue paper, and this is just this is fancy tissue paper, but the one that you have to gift wrap or gift wrapping, you can use it as well. Um, you can use that well one for gift wrapping. Uh, I didn't have any I was looking for. And technically I do have because like I got a gift recently, but um, I don't have it with me. So what she does, it's really cool. She's going to crunch it up, crunch up the tissue paper, like as much as you can. Then you open it up. And it has all these like really nice, um, how do you call this, like lines, right? And then what she did is she basically oops, sprayed on it. And you should do, I guess we should work quickly with this because uh, these tend to dry fast. And then all she did is she just pressed this on top here. Okay. And then open up. And it was like that. You could probably do it on many different types of surfaces, but I just love the way that it created texture. So that was cool. You can probably do this with any spray, but I want to show you what the cool thing it is when you're doing it with these sprays. Let me just soak up anything I have left. So that's one side, and I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side. So um okay and, oh wait i put some here and some of this one okay this might be a little bit i'm going to press it again Okay, and this one came out even cooler. I think there was more, there was, oops, there was more of it on the paper and it went through the box. So I'm gonna use whatever I have left over like here to just pick it up. And then you can use this tissue paper to basically collage it into something. It doesn't go to waste. So that's the, the cool thing about it. Let me add some more from this since I have. And um, and there we go. Okay, so this is how it goes. I'm gonna dry it up, and I want to show you why I did this. <coughs> I have my tea here with me because I don't know. Suddenly, I got like a coughing attack. I don't know what happens sometimes. I guess when I get nervous, I think I'm starting to cough whenever I get nervous. Especially nowadays, it's so silly, right? Oh, thank you, Tiffany. Thank you for thank you for uh, supporting me. I really, really appreciate it. Please support me. Support Tiffany also. Like, if I mean, I I guess I forgot to tell people that they can support people when they are doing their lives. Tiffany is going to finish her project today at the end of the day so we can support her then and like basically uh, donate some money. That's only if you want or can and you don't have to. Okay, so these dry really, really quickly. Now the point of it is that now this pattern is going to be um, resisting the rest of the colors. I'll show you what I mean. Oops. Okay, hold on. I need some paper towel. Okay. All right, so now what I can do is I grab other colors which are stuck in my box, hold on. All right, so I'm gonna grab uh, eggplant, cheddar, and one more, and uh, fuchsia. 
and I'm going to spray them. Now, what's going to happen is that those colors are going to resist the colors underneath or the other way around, if that makes sense. If that makes sense at all. Let's put some orange. This is called uh, cheddar cheese, I think, or something like that. Oh, Nuneka, thank you. You guys are so sweet. So you see how it's resisting the color? How cool is that? How cool is that? Okay, so let me just kind of run this everywhere. Or you could also like use a paintbrush and just kind of paint it, but I don't want to use it. I like the designs that it creates. So you could do some of it, but most of it will be just like, and then what you can do is you can just take some of it off. So then you really see the patterns underneath. Okay. So it really is cool to do. And you can use these tissue papers after. So there's many different designs that you can do with these gloss sprays. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, so, yeah, I like that. So another thing that you can do, and this is fun to do, is you can splatter, okay? So for example, I can take the blue and splatter on things. And that will also kind of um, resist things. But I'm going to splatter for a different reason because I want to create pattern in the background. So it doesn't really matter what pattern you create in the background. That will just be part of the like part of the background, basically. And you can just spray with stencils. Like for example, you could like you know put a stencil and then just spray on it. Um. So I just want to do a little bit just because I don't really want words in it. But I just want to show you. You could do like stenciling. I mean, this is not the point of the video. I just want to show you that you can really create pattern in the background. And that's what I wanted to do is create a pattern. Like it doesn't really matter what. Like it's all like, like thank you, Sheila. Thank you. You guys are so sweet. So amazing. Um my husband is actually out of, he's not working right now because he's, he's only partially essential, so he can't work. So YouTube basically right now is our income and it's not a very big income. So I really appreciate anything that you guys donate. Although you don't have to please at all. Like it's really not, not um, nothing that you have guys have to do. It's just, I do this from my, the bottom of my heart. I love creating and I love showing you cool techniques. So this is what I'm doing. Now, the actual design I want to show you how to make is a really cool design, a really cool product that, I mean, some of you might know about it, but some of you might not. So you never know, right? Like what's going to be. Uh, just because I'm being lazy and because I don't want to uh, wait too long, you can always, you know, just use this. Hi, Chris. Hola, please. Okay, so... This is basically some of the design for the background. Now, um, you guys know that I have a new set of stamp, foam stamps from Joggles, and this is one of the designs. This is another one, and it's well used. This is called XOXO, and um, I really love this one because it creates a really cool pattern. Now, for this, there's two ways you can do it. You could use, like, um, some kind of, like, spray. So I want to show you that you can use it as a spray. Oops. Okay. So let me move this aside a little bit. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use uh, the night color because it's dark. And I can just stamp with it. Oops. No, never mind. Stamp with it. There we go. So it creates more of a watery kind of pattern. And that's not exactly what I want, but I just want to show you that it's possible. I do love, you can also like paint on it, like actually add color through paint. So if you do this, it's probably better. 
and that's the one pattern I want to show you. But I, what I really want to use is just black paint. Now, I was doing a live yesterday. I don't know if you guys caught it. It was all using uh, inexpensive, frugal art, uh, like art journaling, basically. Nothing I used was more than like $2 or a dollar. And and uh, I said that I had run out of like black paint or cheap black paint. So I'm using an old dabber that I have from Tim Holtz or from Ranger. I don't know. So I want to show you something cool. So you all know that we have there is there, there we have the um, oops one sec I'm getting it. There is like you know the jelly plate which is really really dirty. Another one that is a little bit more inexpensive and the link is below is this thing it's called let me show you it's not as gel maybe but oh no this is not the one sorry wrong one wrong one wrong one it's called it's a mono printing plate from graphics and what's cool about it there's the point of it is is that it comes with three of them in the package and i have one basically what i do is i have one sitting here right beside me and it's dirty and what i do is i almost lose it like a palette so it can be used as a palette or as a mono printing plate. And what I'm doing with it is I'm going to add a little bit of paint onto it. Hold on. And this doesn't fit. Okay. So I'm going to put a little bit of paint. And maybe I'll do it like this. No, it's not coming out. This is a very old paint, as you can tell. Paint. And then using just a mini brayer, I just basically, um, like you can't see what I'm doing, can you? Let me get it closer. And let me see if I can get more paint out of this jar. I could always use black gesso, but I'm being lazy. I think it's all at the bottom. Oh, there we go. There is the paint. Okay. So is it, is it, can you see? Oh my God, it's still not able to see. It's all black. That's a problem why you can't probably see. But let me just show you what I want to do. So I have this beside me. And basically what I do is I just use it as a either a stamping platform or or just like you can mono print onto it. But in this case, I'm going to use it as a stamp. So you can do two things. I could go with the black and just use a brayer and then stamp. OK, as you can see, wow, it's really bad when I only have. OK, hold on. Let me move this aside. OK, so there is that. So you can use the brayer and. As I said, stamp here like this and uh, stamp. Or you can go directly into this and stamp, okay? So there is one side of the background. I don't want to add too much black just because I really wanted to see. But I really love those mono printing plates because you get three in, in a box, in a, in a package. So... It's really cool for if you want if you don't have a gel plate or something like that. So there we go. This is basically the print that I'm going to do. This is going to be my background. Now I'm going to put this aside, okay, because I want to show you something else. All right, moving, moving this everywhere. Go, getting back to this. So now, how did I create the really cool designs? So that's a really cool thing that you're going to see right now. Let me dry this up, and then I'm going to show you. And I want to clean this too. So why I wanted a colorful background is because I wanted to make sure that that looks really nice underneath my designs. Now you could like do anything and I want to show you what do I mean by that, okay? All right, so while this is drying, I'm going to talk a little bit about two different products and these are really cool and I just got these and well not just like a few like a little while ago. So um, I mentioned this in the after in the earlier show, it's called uh, liquid frisket. And somebody thought it was a joke, but it's not. It's actually, it's called liquid frisket and frisket film, okay? And what it does, it's a mask, it's a white masking fluid. 
And what is good about it is that you can basically, um, um, how do you call this? Like use it, it dries up and then it masks anything you put on top and then you easily remove it to create the, whatever um, design that you want. The same thing you can do with frisket film. And I'm gonna show you how the film looks like. Okay. Um, I know the word kind of seems weird, the word frisket, but it is a real, a real thing. It's by graphics as well. The link is there as well. And it's basically the film, oh, there's a bunch of them in it. There's oh, sh six sheets and it's a, oops. It's a clear film, but it has a white backing. And I already have one that I use for my other picture. And I started drawing on it. So basically you can draw any shape. So I was just basically going like really like really nothing fancy. You could draw circles, you could draw um, basically anything. So then all I do is I cut. Okay, so I already cut a couple. I didn't cut all of them because I was literally doing that right before this. Um, so there is a couple and I'm gonna cut a few more. And then I wanna show you how to work both of them, okay? Now, because the liquid frisket takes a long time to dry, I'm gonna work a little bit backwards, okay? So I'll just wanna tell you what I did originally. Originally, I basically glued these to the background, okay? And then I added the liquid frisket. And I basically made these like kind of like trees or whatever, I love trees, you guys know that. So basically that's what I did. So what I want to show you with the liquid frisket <clears throat> is, um, is how how to use it. It comes in a pack, it's, I mean, most of it comes in, the one I showed you comes in a container with two things. Comes with the liquid, sorry, three things. This, this, and one more thing, which, where did it go? It disappeared, hold on. Where did my eraser go? And it comes with a really cool eraser. One of those erasers. Oh my God, I hate when things disappear from my desk. It is so frustrating. Oh, there it is. Found it. Okay. And this eraser that you remove the glue. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of like place things where they should be. And then I'm going to cut some more. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you what I did. So I basically use it almost like uh, with, um, you use it almost like paint. Okay. This is a hard tip. It's not a soft paintbrush or anything like that. And what I did is I literally drew the stems for this. Now I want to show you, sorry, you know what? That's not true what I'm saying because I do need this already. Never mind. I don't think I can do this before. But I want to show you how easy it is to remove this. It's just like basically a see-through film. And all you do is you just glue it on. And it's as like a mask to the to the background oops it's getting stuck to my fingers okay there we go all right so like this okay so i'm just going to kind of peel some other ones so never mind i'm going to do cut all of them because i do need them never mind it's really cool at the end like it's kind of yeah it's like kind of like magic everything comes to life but sorry, now it's taking me sometimes to remove, you know how it is to separate two papers. Um, it's not as hard, but sometimes it gets stuck. Okay, so, so um, hold on. I think somebody just messaged me. I don't know if it's a message that I need to answer a question. So I am going to look. Um, on, no, it's not. Okay, so let's see. So they're not all the same shape. I'm, I'm trying to kind of make them different shapes. And that will be good for, 
Oh, come on. You know, you don't realize how long it takes you sometimes to separate things. And when you're doing it on live, when you're doing it not on live, I didn't have an issue with it. I don't remember having an issue with it that I had to try many times. And then suddenly, of course, I'm in a live show and it takes me forever to separate this. Maybe I had like no long nails last time. I don't remember. I cut my nails since then. Come on. I'm having, I'm getting frustrated. Okay, there we go. Not in the live, not in the live, please, not in the live. Okay, let me just cut this up. So what I'm doing, if you notice, I'm cutting, I'm cutting the inside and I'm using the inside as one of the trees as well. So I'm not putting anything to waste. I'm not use, I'm not wasting anything, I meant to say. Okay, so this is like a smaller tree, right? Um, I guess you could die cut things. Uh, um, I guess you could definitely die cut things. That would be cool. Okay, I'm never. Why is this taking so long to separate? Okay, I feel my family keeps on going in and out, in and out of the house, banging the door, and I'm like, and I did tell them I was in a live show, so I don't know why they're still banging it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it's kind of masking. I'm almost thinking sometimes it's better if you have the black around it, like drawn around it, so that way you can see where you put this, this see-through tape. There and... Okay, so they can be done in different shapes, different sizes, and you could do like, if you really wanted to mask a large area. Um, how do I want this one? So the reveal is really cool. Let me cut a couple more. I'm going to cut some of these moon shaped ones. So now I have a lot more that I don't even need so many. I just want a couple of these. Maybe I'll do some of this moon shaped one. Okay, sorry, I'm cutting off screen. Does it really matter? Um, so it doesn't really matter if it has that pen mark or not, because obviously um it's not it's going to be removed afterwards okay and you can be as rough or as gentle as you want with things okay let's see well, any questions oh nobody can hear my family <laughs> yeah they keep on slamming the door i can hear it downstairs so sometimes a dog barks when they're like they're probably playing outside Okay, there is one here that I want, and I can see. I think I put one here. So I think three or four trees per per one. I could even put like a, a halfway three, like tree, like one that is kind of sticking halfway, but I don't know. Oh, maybe. Maybe this one will go here. That will be cute. I'll cut it off after, so it will be like a halfway, a halfway three tree. I want one more, sorry. Um, I think I want one for up here. Okay. So again, play around with whatever you want. What time is it? I'm like looking to make sure. Um, okay. And uh, <laughs> yeah, everything kind of... Uh, um, Cynthia, yes, you could use post-it paper, but you'll see what I'm going to do with it. The post-it paper will probably not work for what I want to do. Uh, it's exactly, yeah, it's exactly like transparent masking tape, uh, masking paper. It's a film, like it's a sticky film. I think it's similar to, I guess, what we used to do when we were kids, when we, when we, when we used to like uh, cover notebooks and stuff like that. Does that make sense? I don't know if they, you guys did that here. Okay. So there we go. Now I'm going to use the film to make this the, the different thing. So now I know how far to go. Okay. So, and I'm, I'm, I'm making this. Now also what I wanted to do, what I made is I made like, like little like, you know, lines like this to make the stems. And okay, not the stems, the leaves, the petals. What do you call that? I'm getting confused with names. So it's like you can basically draw with this. 
you can draw and you can you can doodle with it I really like this. This is like this is fun to use. I, I had so much fun using it. And what I another thing that I did, I'll show you. The only problem with this is it takes a little bit longer to dry. So I'm gonna be drying a little bit. So I'm working quickly. So because the longer time it's gonna be is to dry things, okay? Oops. Um, yeah, contact paper, that's what it was called. You're right. Um, it kind of reminds me of that, like sheets of that. So yeah, I guess you could use that. I don't even know, probably graphics, if they're, I don't know how old is that company, but if, if they were like, uh, still there nowadays, you they probably were the ones who made the contact paper. <laughs> so I'm going over this plastic, like literally I can I can go over it. It doesn't matter because that's something that I'm going to be removing anyways. Uh, another thing that I did that was really cool is I did like little dots around the flowers. So that will mask as well. So you can really design your own thing, whatever it is that you want. You could even splatter with it, right? So some of them are getting too big. I can see the film, hold on, where is it? I need to lift it up, oh, there it is. The light is not showing me where the film is. I'm gonna grab some from somewhere else just because it's too thick and it's gonna take forever to dry. Doesn't matter if it's not exact or not at all. Do I care? No, I like it like whimsical like this. You can even make like a circle in the middle of this. I could make a circle in the middle of this and in the middle of this. So it just adds to the design. Um, um, so no painter's tape probably, I guess you could, but it will like, I don't know, you can make like big shapes. Like this, you can really make like really big shapes. So painter ta tape uh, tape would work probably for oops oopsie uh, painter tapes will probably work for smaller shapes, but I don't think it would work for like big big shapes. Okay, so let me just see. Um, I can see if I'm like above it or not. I should have had like that the black show off a little bit more. Oops. You can also do like, as I said, splatters. Um, and I can add dots anywhere I want, basically. Dots or anything you want, you can make grass with it, right? I could make like little grassy things, which I didn't do in the other one, if you want. Truthfully, it doesn't really matter. You can basically do anything you want with it. And it's so much fun to just draw. I'm sorry. Yeah, this will not tear your paper. That's true. Painter's tape or masking tape might tear your paper. So I'm not sure, but you can attempt it to do it. You can attempt to do it with it. What I like about it, you can use this on cards to mask things too. So you could, if you guys are card makers, you could like use it to mask things. Um, that would work as well. Um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm giving away a gift certificate to Joggles at the end of the show. So stay around. Um, I will have. I will have. Uh, Susan, are you are you uh, good enough to pick pick a number and follow everybody's numbers around? 
because if not, then um, oh no, you know what, Susan, you know what, you you don't know like most. I don't know. I guess no. Maybe we'll do it randomly. But please, anybody who is in the uh, artist, uh, sorry, anybody who is like doing a live today, um, cannot participate in my draw of the joggles, um, uh, of my joggles thing. Uh, but anybody else can enter the draw. If you already won today in some other channel, please be kind and just like um, I, we can't keep, I haven't kept track of anything. And another thing I want to say that if you want to win any of the prizes that come afterwards, then what you need to do is leave a comment on all the streams, but not in the chat. You have to leave a comment, not in the chat. You have to leave a comment like, underneath the video at the end uh, by tomorrow. I don't know what the deadline is, but probably, uh, um, probably, um, what do you call this? Um, uh, how do you call this? Um, sorry, I totally lost train of thought because I was reading what you guys were writing. Um, uh, uh, Tiffany might know that when when is the deadline to write the comments. So hopefully she's still there answering that question. But uh, but you, we can. We'll the, the winners will be announced. Just please be kind to all the sponsors. Thank you for all the sponsors, and just make sure that um, you know that because of everything that's going on, it might take longer for sponsors to send prizes and stuff like that because some of the borders are closed and things like that. So just be patient. Don't stress about it. We're on top of things and everything, and we will be um, monitoring everything. Um, so Susan, uh, at the end, like at around, at the end, we're almost at the end, but like at around 10 to, like in basically in, yeah, I don't know, what is it, 3.36, at 10 to 4, which is my time, um, I want you to uh, just like, I'll tell you what to do, okay? And then, but you have to watch, it's going to pick a number and people are going to have to guess numbers and like the numbers go up really quickly. Nuneka, please pay attention that the first person is the one that, um, the person, uh, the first person that gets the number uh, will be. And Susan starts thinking of a number, but don't, you guys don't start guessing yet. Please do not start guessing because it doesn't count until I say go. So um, you're just going to pick a number. And the first person who guesses it, but not yet. Don't guess now, please, please, please don't guess it now. Not at all, okay? I'm just drying up the frisket, so that's a thing. <laughs> okay, so, so yeah, yeah. Nuneka, not yet. When when this when the when we decide on going, um, just make sure. Yeah, I'm same time zone. I'm in Toronto, so I'm Eastern time zone. So you see how it's getting a little bit yellowish? It's kind of drying up. And I just want to make sure it's dry before I add the next step. Ouch. And I'm burning myself. Um, it's still wet. So this is the... Uh, no, Nuneka, Susan already is picking the number. She already told me what the number is. But we're not guessing yet. Yeah, I will tell you in a second what the numbers go up. Once I attend to in 10 min 12 minutes, I will tell you what the numbers are going to be up to and you guys are going to guess and you're going to win a $25 gift card to uh, joggles.com okay so just so you know yeah no I'm not on the west coast I'm east coast um, eastern standard time and um, if you already won please be kind if you're like one of my best friends I feel bad but maybe not <laughs> So the two of you and Tiffany, the three mods, cannot win. And if you are doing a show today, uh, don't guess, please. Like, it's just like let people that are coming and supporting us. That's what I really is important. Um, so yeah. So okay. Thank, please, and thank you. I'm just checking. It's okay. So when it's fully dry, it actually is. Uh, it dries clearly. No, no, no. Nuneka is not allowed to win. She's one of my best friends. And neither does Tiffany <laughs> or Susan. None of those three people are allowed to win. Everybody else is good unless you're doing a show today and then you cannot win. So, sorry, Susan. You can't pick the number and win as well. <laughs> That's like a conflict of interest. 
Um, so yeah. Okay, so so the next in the meantime, I can tell you the next show is Aaron Reed. And can somebody share? It's on the top of my link. Um, can somebody share that po uh, is like uh, whoever it is, please um, please share the links of uh, of like the next one. Okay, so it's pretty much dry. I'm going to let's get okay. They're pretty much dry. So what do I want to do with this? What did I do with this? I actually took acrylic paint and I'll show you. So I guess there's a lot of resisting today in my show and I don't I don't know why I didn't finish. I thought I would finish on time. So I took some blues and some whites, okay? And this is going to have to be quick. I'm going to be quick about this. Um so what I did is you can I can use that palette again like that palette like thing, but I want to show you the reveal. We're not going to have enough time. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay. So this is a beautiful blue and why I said the painter's tape might not work, it's because I'm basically covering everything, okay? And now I'm like working full-time fast. And these are Amsterdam paints. There is, uh, you can use any type of acrylic paint. I wanted to create some kind of, um, oops, resist, like, you know, like a, ombre effect kind of thing so going down but I added I think a few layers to the to the other one but right now I don't think I'm going to have time to add so many layers because I need to dry this paint as well right so okay there we go so there's one side and the other side okay um okay well we'll remember what next year i don't even know what uh okay i don't even know what you guys are saying but that's okay because i need to hurry up i actually thought i'm usually good at finishing things on time so i don't know why uh i'm not today but that's okay there's still what oh we still have 15 minutes i can manage right we have i can use up all my 15 minutes So I'm going in the same direction. And as I, again, as I said, this is just regular acrylic paint. As you can see, now you can see all the pieces underneath. I wanted to add a little bit of white, but I'm not even doing that. Oops, I guess I could add a little bit of this. It doesn't really need the white. It looks pretty like this as well. So we're all good. Oopsie. Okay, so now we're gonna dry this. You see, quick, quick, quick. Let's dry this so we can do the reveal. Uh, okay. <coughs> Where, which one is not in frame? This one is not in frame. Okay. So what did everybody say? Did you just give me, you don't have to stop donating, Tiffany. <laughs> You're so sweet. You're so cute. Uh Oh, she gave. She tried to give me extra time. Oh, I didn't realize that. I was there, but I didn't see when she wrote that. Too bad. Yeah, I would have probably needed that. But it's okay. I think I'm going to manage. I, I think I am going to manage. So we still have seven minutes till the draw. And 17 minutes until I... I still have 17 minutes. You know how much I can do in 17 minutes? Guys, seriously. You're going to see. Now, actually, something that I did, interestingly, something that I did that um, that I did afterwards, but I'm thinking maybe I will do it now, is to actually do splatters. And why I'm thinking is that I actually didn't want, I don't know if you can see the splatters. Let me show you. I tried not to get splatters on the actual trees. And I didn't think that I could actually first splatter and then and then remove this stuff. So then anywhere that anywhere that I don't that I don't want the splatter to be won't be there. So I'm going to splatter while I still can to add those splatters in the background. Um, maybe I will use. 
Ah, this goes everywhere. Yeah, the reveal is going to be the best part. I loved it. I love doing it. But let me just uh, add some more splatters. Oh, thank you, Crystal. Crystal, mwah, mwah, you're the best. Thank you so much, guys. Like, really, really, really appreciate it. Okay. Okay, there we go. Um, uh, 30%. You want a refund? What does that mean? Oh, you want to, I don't know what you mean by that, Tiffany. I just said, please, everybody, go subscribe to Tiffany's channel. <laughs> yeah, it should include the 30%. Okay, I'm going to dry these, and then I'm going to show you the reveal and some other stuff, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Are we trying to rush on the on the drying part? Yeah, they need to dry a little bit, but the, these dry really quickly. It's more I'm waiting for the paint to dry. Okay, are you ready? So the first thing I want to do is I'm actually going to remove the, the, the film first. Oh, some of it is still wet. Hold on. Ooh, okay, so some of it is actually, some of times like this comes off too. All right, so there is one. Hold on, this paint is still wet underneath here. Hold on. Oh, thank you, Lynette. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. I'm sorry, I do know what I totally lost the joke. I'm like, I don't always get jokes right away. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. Okay. There we go. Let's let's take this off too. I'm like a bit okay. There we go. The reveal. Okay, so the question is, maybe I'll just show you once. I don't, I'm, it's going to take a little while to like reveal, ouch, to reveal. Oh, yeah, I know what I did. Sorry, and I remember what I did. I actually used a exacto knife, which I should have done to begin with. The bigger ones look really cool. Okay, so some of it is peeling and that's okay. I just want to show you them. There it is. Okay, let's see. Okay. Um, all right, so you see the reveal is coming out really cool. Now let me show you. I just I might not have to do time to do both pages, so I just want to show you how this works. So basically, the little thing kind of takes off, takes all the glue apart. Can you see? Hold on. Let me just go like this. All you have to do is rub it and it reveals the little the little dots or anything that you've added once it's dry. You have to make sure it's dry, okay? It will not work if it's not dry. So I'm basically just like going around and it removes itself so quickly and so cool. And now let me show you the, the stems. Oh, this one is still wet. Okay, you have see, I have to be careful when things are wet because when things are wet, they're not going to come off. Okay, there we go. So, so now what what can you do to kind of make sure that the shapes look, look like a bit more normal than usual? You can use like a black marker or a, a black Stabilo pencil to kind of reveal things. Um, so, <clears throat> I'm, I'm peeling off the plastic with the eraser. It's like, it comes with the kit. It's, uh, and I'm just peeling off. I actually did like little dots everywhere. So, so there we go. So you see what I mean? Like, I mean, some of it, this, I think this part wasn't dried up so that's a problem so this kind of got oh no maybe it was and it's just like it was a really oh it was a really thick stem that's why so there we go i drew a really thick stem in this one okay so you see what i mean like this is the one 
I'm going to do the other side soon, but truthfully, like, I don't think I have that much time. And, okay, it's 3.50, so um, Susan and Uneka, stay tuned. Susan already picked the number. It's number between uh, 1 and 30. The first person who guesses the number gets the gift certificate. And please, like, be very careful when you're looking because the numbers are going to fly by. And in the meantime, I'll show you what else to do with this. But, I mean, you won't be able to look at the thing. So it starts guessing the numbers. I can't see. I can't, like, do anything. And things, oh, okay, sorry, never mind. Somebody just guessed it. I could even see it. Marion just bought, got it. Marion G. Marion G just bought, got the number. <laughs> it was like the third number guessed. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's, you guys can stop guessing. She already got it. Okay, so um, uh, let, let me just show you what did I do with the markers. Okay, yeah. So I took, I'm taking this um, marker. This is a, uh, Football pen by by Ranger. And that's basically what I did is I just went around and um, Tiffany, you're funny. You can't win. <laughs> the number was 18. It was the third guess. Oh, <laughs> Nanak, I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you the number. Now you cannot get <laughs> I'm so sorry, but Susan knew. Anyways, I knew what I saw the number. I knew what the number was, and I just like and she and, and sorry, Nunek, I forgot that you didn't know the number. That was silly of me. Um, that was funny. That made me laugh. I'm such an idiot. Okay, so you see what I'm doing? I'm just basically doodling. I just oh, I can't believe I don't have time. I guess this took me longer than I thought. So. <laughs> that was funny. Okay. So um uh who did I say? Marion, Marion, please contact me. Somebody give Marion my email or you can contact me on fest Facebook, whichever way. That was funny. So I'm gonna continue to remove like the little pieces of tape all around. So it's going to basically look like this. You see all the pieces all around here. So what I did is I even went in and created circles around these. So basically lines around everything. So it looks really, really cute and you can just create anything. So now I have these. Um, another thing that I did, just want to show you, uh, where's my stamp? Okay, so I have this honeycomb stamp. So I took some um, archival ink, or you can use paint. Um, um, yeah, I will send it, uh, Karen. Uh, no, sorry, Cynthia, I will send that, no problem. Okay, so I just added some texture to the bottom here, okay? So that was something that I did. It's this stamp. I wish they would still make it. I think I'm going to design my own honeycomb stamp. This is more look like a punch. I really, it's my favorite stamp of all times. And truthfully, they don't have it anymore. And I really want another one. So I think I'm going to design my own and that's it. You see, I still have some glue here in certain places. So I want to um, remove it. So I have those like pieces to play. Um... The other thing that I did, oh, here's the one in the center. So you see, like I have one in the center here. There is another one. So I'm just working with one side, okay? Because truthfully, I don't have time to work with both sides. Um, another thing that I did is with the paint that I had left over, okay? I could use it also with the stamp. So I could like use this with the stamp as well. It creates a more like textured area. Oh my God, I have six minutes left. Um, so I, I have a more textured area. And also what you can do is, where is my brayer? What did it do with it? Oh, I like doing this. This is something I love doing. So I put the brayer through and I like creating like a border around it. So I just go like this and it creates that really nice border. Okay, 
So there is that, you see? So I did this, I did the, the black and it's gonna be exactly the same on the other side, okay? There's no difference. And then even used a little bit of white. I already have the white marks, but you can just add, uh, okay? You can just add like white marks on things. Oh, this, these pens always run bad on me. I don't know. Um, so you could like add white marks around, white marks around the circles to give it some light. So I'm trying to fit all the design, all the things on one idea, on one five minute run. But if you see what I mean, you can add the white and you can add, so it becomes a little bit more whimsical. So I think the idea of actually splattering beforehand what I, was a good idea, especially for the white, because that I could dry everything at the same time. So I'm going back and forth with my markers and just basically playing with things. You can doodle with things. You can you can do anything you want. This is like the possibilities are endless. So what I like about it is that you can really mask cool like any type of shape. You can like die cut a shape with the film. I think you can even print on it. I'm not, I'm not, don't quote me on that one. I'm not 100% sure. Um, so, yeah. And, oh, another thing that I did that was really cute. I used my white marker. And I went inside my honeycombs. And I actually did like white circles. Because that kind of gave it a um, really cute effect. So let me just show you, okay? Because... I ran out of time to do the other side, so that's why. Um, so this is the jelly roll pen. It's the white one, 10. Oh, this is a 05, this is a 10. So I'm using the 10 and it's working really nicely. So there's different um, uh, watercolor question. Uh, yeah, sure, go ahead, Pam, and uh, ask away. So as you can see, oops, what is it? You can see... Uh, something is wrong with the reception. I don't know what's going on. Hopefully you can still see me, but you can see all the shapes here, the splatters, the little circles in between, the black border, and oh, and I forgot, and at the end I'm going to put some kind of uh, title. I have like a sentiment uh, Tim holds, um, Tim holds, uh, you know, like word, uh, what do you call the small talk. Uh, the watercolor question is, uh, I'm you're working on a Joggles journal. It's a watercolor paper, but any type of mixed media paper would work. So that would be okay. Uh, so yeah, so basically you just continue to doodle and play. And this is pretty relaxing because you can do it, you know, you can do it on your, like once everything is dry, you can just take the stuff with you to and watch TV with it. So that is something that you can do. And it's just like, just fun, just fun to doodle. Um, yeah, that disc bound journal, I really love because I can remove the pages, Cynthia, and then I can just work on a flat surface. That's why I like the Joggles journal so much. I mean, my stamps are from Joggles, but I love them before I made the stamps with them. I really, um, I met uh, the owner, Barb, at Creativation a couple of years ago, and we've become good friends. And she's just amazing. She's a really, really, really good person and works really hard for, for everything that she does. And she makes amazing products. And it's just nice to see, you know, like I want to support her as well. So that's something that I'm doing. And she supports me, which is important, right? So, uh, so yeah, so they come in numbers, believe it or not. There's different. The, uh, the one that I put is a pack of three, I think. This is a thing, a thicker one, I guess. So that's probably why it's working so nicely. So once I finish, I will post the finished product. Uh, I'll, I'll post the finished layout, although you've already seen how it looks like, which is that's, that's the advantage of doing this in advance. Otherwise, I would have not finished it on time, which is what happened to many of us today. But that's okay. And um, yeah, please go to Aaron's channel. It's coming up next. And thank you so much for all of you for joining me today. 
congrats to Marion for the win. And, you know, I love you guys all. I hope you're staying safe and be well, my friends. Uh, thank you so much for Susan and Nunica for helping me with all the things. And Tiffany, please, a round of applause for Tiffany for organizing this event. She's just amazing. And just uh, please support her. Please come watch her at the end today as she finishes her project. I would love if you support her, like also her channel. And thank you so much, everyone. Have an amazing, amazing day. Bye.